Hello, welcome to another one of the live sessions. I'm doing these every single Wednesday, answering your questions. Today, we are talking about jobs in the government for wildlife biologists. If you are here live, say hi, write your name in the comments, and where you're from and your favorite animal. <laughs> and um, if you're not here live, you can also say hi too. So first, let me tell you that getting a job in the government was actually one of my ideal jobs when I was going through my PhD. I would, people would always ask me what I wanted to do and I would say, I knew I didn't want to work for academia and I would say I either want to work for the government or I want to work for a nonprofit. So when I was actually on the job market, I was kind of surprised with my luck in government jobs or how I did with government jobs. Um, I was not interviewed for a lot of jobs that I applied for. And I found out in, in some jobs actually I couldn't apply for too because even though I had a PhD, I still didn't have enough experience. And well, not enough experience, but experience courses, actually courses, I should just be honest. I didn't take botany and I didn't have anything in my experience to cover botany. Okay, anyway, and in some other cases, I was overqualified with a PhD and the, the government job didn't want that. So before I get started going into like what these jobs look like, I always wanna share with you guys a, a tip to help you. And this is the, the biggest tip, the single biggest mistake that aspiring wildlife biologists make, this is the one that I made, is they don't take enough time to really carefully look at where they ultimately want to go with their careers. And like, I thought I had a direction, I thought I was gonna work for the government or a nonprofit, but what I've realized now, having gone through that process, that these, um, positions are a lot more nuanced than I thought going through graduate school. I thought you could just get a degree and get a job, but that is not the case. So I went through years and years of a PhD and then I eventually found out I didn't have the right skills, I didn't have the right courses for some of the jobs that I wanted. So it's, I'm glad that you're here and we're going to learn about these jobs today. Um, I actually met somebody or worked with somebody and she wanted to be a fur bear biologist with the state government. So like that is perfect. Like she knows where she is going and her research aligns perfectly with that. Okay, so this information will focus on the United States government. That's where I live, that's where I'm familiar with. The reverse tip, like figuring out where you wanna end up and then going backwards, figuring out what you need to get there, that applies to anywhere. But my experience working with the government is in the United States. So what your job will look like will definitely depend on where you work. So there's the federal government and there is the state government. And this also depends on if you're in the federal government, what agency you work for. If you're in the state government, it can vary across state agencies. Each state has their own wildlife um, or natural resources department. It can vary a lot according to the level or type of biologist that you are. So if you have a bachelor's, your job is gonna vary compared to those who have a PhD. But at the very core, the government jobs in wildlife biology are about science. They are about research. Um, so you really have to love research and I don't think I have it. I don't think I have um, a video on this, um, but I do have it in my book. In my book, Getting a Job in Wildlife Biology, I go over extensively what research really is. It's not just like reading papers or reading about animals. Yes, you're reading scientific papers, but you have to like reading that type of stuff. It's very different than reading um, just like Wikipedia articles. It's, it, you have to understand experiments essentially and how to conduct studies. 
So you really have to like research. Yes, there are jobs in the government that are tangential to wildlife biology. So there are jobs in law, like you could be a, a ranger and um, enforce wildlife laws. You could be an educator, an interpreter, um, a naturalist. Those people interact with the public a lot and are more education roles. But today I'm gonna to focus strictly on wildlife biologists. So at the very core, it's gonna involve on research. So this means you have to like, the process of research is collecting data, um, analyzing data and, and writing it up. So that's the whole process in a very short description. So if you have your PhD, you're not gonna be going into the field much. You're gonna be analyzing data. You are going to be managing people. You are going to be writing up reports or peer reviewed journals. If you are a bachelor's level, you're gonna be much more in the field. You're gonna be the person collecting the data and you are going to be um, maybe doing some data cleanup, maybe a little bit of report writing, but mostly data collection. If you have a master's degree, you're somewhere in the middle. So the US government, they have all different sorts of agencies that you could apply to. These agencies are in my book. The most common one is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Their work really has a lot to do with endangered species. And there's the National Park Service. There is the Bureau of Land Management, um, for example. So jobs in wildlife biology um, and for those jobs will, will take place for those types of protected areas. So National Park Service you're going to be um, working on research that has to do with the ecosystem or wildlife within the park boundaries. Usually, I believe you end up working for one park. I don't think it's as it's not as common to have um, biologists working across parks, although I'm not 100 percent sure in that. But I usually see per park um, Bureau of Land Management. Their land is um, it, it's government land, but there's also people allowed on it. There's ranching allowed on it. So um, there's much more of a public interface with the Bureau of Land Management. So these are just some examples. I worked at the Bureau of Land Management and my boss, um, he was the, the wildlife biologist. Um, he worked on threatened and endangered species. So one of the species he worked with was, was a southwestern willow flycatcher, um, which is a, an endangered subspecies. So as an intern, myself and um, another field assistant would go on surveys within the Bureau of Land Management land in the Arizona Strip Field Office to look for this bird to, to do surveys of it. Um, we also, he also did some bat research as well. Um, but actually my job at the BLM was not related really directly to wildlife. Um, so I think you need to think about that when you're working in the government too. So for example, I was working on updating a, a wildlife water catchment database. So we worked in the desert and um, it's obviously dry in the desert. So they created these artificial water sources, which are called water catchments. And my whole job really pretty much the whole summer was to go to these places and see if they were real or not. Um, and if they were, update their location. If they weren't, obviously um, report that. Um, so your job might be like even more tangential to wildlife. It might not even be directly on the animal per se. So um, that should give you some idea about what it's like to work for federal government. For state governments, you have to be comfortable with hunting and fishing state agencies are the ones who manage the land. So the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will designate federal endangered species across state borders, but it's really the job of the state to like send honey, hunting limits, trapping limits. There are state threatened and endangered species. Um, so really it's up to the state, like I said, to manage the lands. Most of the jobs in the state governments, a lot of them are focused on um, game species. That is changing, but still a lot of the jobs are on game. So for me, I'm a mammologist. Um, if I were to get a job at a state agency, I, I would probably have to do some game management. Um, 
But again, there are positions like herpetologist positions, ornithologist positions. Um, well, I guess ornithologist involves game species too. Um, but there are there are um, non-game positions, but they're 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 less frequent than um, the game ones. So um, you would be, have to be doing some wildlife management and be comfortable with that. These jobs also really vary in terms of the level of education and the level of publishing that you will be doing as well. So in science, we submit our studies to peer reviewed journals and scientists review them. And I always think of as publishing as something that, that academics really do. And my impression in working with people in the state government is that they like to publish, but um, really their main priority is, is, um, is really managing the wildlife at the state level, which does, re -evolve, which does result in, in publishing reports that are more internal within the agency and not necessarily peer reviewed publications. But for my class, I was looking up one of my um, former colleagues and he works for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission and he publishes a lot in his job and they they want peer reviewed scientific um, publications out there that that's um, really important to them. So it can vary a lot according to the job, um, whereas at a job I applied for in North Carolina here, I was I was overqualified because I had a Ph.D. So again, know the types of jobs that you are getting into so you can better make these decisions. And that's why I have created the job tracker. Um, I'll put it in the comments, but it's a way for you to keep track of all these different jobs. Two other things to think about when you are working for a job in the government. You will probably have to deal with the public in some capacity. Now, in some jobs, it might be more and others, it might be less. One of my friends works as a state biologist in um, Montana. And she says that, like she suggests for people wanting to go into government jobs, that you have to be good at communicating to the public, maybe doing some things like public speaking. Um, you might, you, or you, you probably will have to be at like town or city meetings. You um, might be interviewed by the press. They'll want quotes for you to talk about um, incidents that happen, human wildlife conflict. Like here in North Carolina, um, if there's a story in coyotes, they'll go to the fur bear biologist. So you will have to be able to comment on that. Sorry, my cat's making a funny noise. Um, so so be, be, um, you have to be willing to work with the public to represent the agency. Also, another thing to think about with uh, government jobs is, I don't really have any experience with this because I, worked in the Bureau of Land Management, but I was hired under a different organization. So I, was, I didn't officially get into the system. Plus I was, I was really young too, as an internship. But I've heard so many people complain about bureaucracy. So this is like a lot of meetings, a lot of paperwork, a lot of hoops you have to jump through. Things just go really slowly in the government. So for example, if you wanted to go to a conference, it has to be like approved by all these different people. Um, so just, just so you know, that's, that's something you need to think about or, or deal with in, when you're in the government and some people really don't like doing that. So really pay attention to what the job requirements are. Federal jobs are crazy to apply to, um, especially the, the, did I say federal? I meant to say federal. Federal jobs, government jobs actually in general are, are pretty crazy to apply to, but federal to me are the worst because you have to you have to fill out the application in the language they want you to. And if you use the wrong words, if you don't give them, if you think you're giving them the information but you're not saying it right, you you won't get passed, even if you're a super qualified person. So there's a lot of, of tricks to that. So if you're at all considering a job in the federal government, get nine hours of botany. That's my that's one of my biggest tips. Don't do what I did and not give botany. 
Okay, so if you guys have more questions, just feel free to leave them in the comments. Again, you can say hi, and I will be back next time. Let me see if I can tell you what our topic is next time. We are, um, ooh, I think I'm going to do this one. Uh, somebody asked me if I went into debt to become a wildlife biologist. Um, so I'm going to talk about finances and wildlife biology, and if you have to go into debt too to become a wildlife biologist. Bye.